They compared a 37 mile per gallon ICE vehicle to an electric vehicle. And what they found is that the internal combustion engine gets 41 miles per kilowatt hour of thermal energy because all of these things are just turning into thermal energy, right? The EV got 32 miles. So that's accounting for the creation of the battery, the mining of the materials, and the life of the vehicle too. The life of the vehicle is different because the life of a battery is like about 120,000 miles, whereas they're estimating the life of a internal combustion engine to be 170,000 miles. And by the way, when they did the math on if the fuel wasn't solely natural gas, but it was some sort of green mix of wind and solar, it reduced it to 13 miles per kilowatt hour. So if you're using wind and solar to power your car, based on the energy return on investment numbers, you're getting 13 miles per kilowatt hour on the vehicle over the course of its life, as opposed to 41 miles per kilowatt hour on the life of the internal combustion engine.